Hello everybody. You are watching The Horde and this is Doogie and yes, I am the ghost face. Yes, the ghost face. But that being said, thank you for coming in and hanging out with me this evening. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button and comment on what you like most about Doogie's Horror Den. But yes, yeah, so I'm here with you with three new reviews this week. <clears throat> and they're good. Oh yes, they're good. We're going to start it off with the brand new Texas Chainsaw Massacre that's debuted on Netflix. And let me tell you something. That movie was insane. Leatherface has stepped up his game. And he loves chopping people with that chainsaw so much. Um, all you got to do is watch that movie and watch the bus scene. Because that was insane. Like, um, what, what the movie's about is uh, these young entrepreneurs who come to Harlow, Texas to re not rebuild the town, but make it great. You know, build, make new stores, stuff like that. And inadvertently, they get the mother of Leatherface sick. You know, she has like a little heart attack or whatever, and she ends up dying, which sets Leatherface off to kill everybody. And that's what he does. Literally. Like, he goes crazy. Like, he goes as crazy as he takes his mom's face and puts it on his and kills everybody with his mom's face. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And of course, chaos ensues and blood everywhere and guts everywhere. You, you know you know what you're getting into when you're watching a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. You know, there's you can't be scared of blood and guts when you're watching it. And I'm gonna say it right now, I loved it. I thought it was great. You know, I haven't been that excited when I'm watching a horror movie in a while. When you're cheering for, you know, Leatherface, you know. It, that just makes everything perfect. Um, so ratings-wise, you I think you already know what my ratings is going to be for this. MDK. It was MDK. I would watch it again in a heartbeat. It was amazing. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes, yes, and yes. Go watch it. Just don't be scared of the little blood because that's all there is in that movie. So now we're on to the second movie... Second of three, I might, you know. This one's called The Evil Next Door. It came out in 2020. It's a Swedish horror film about a family who moves into a new half of a full house. And uh, one half of the house is empty. They live in their half. And it turns out this spirit is trying to get the child. And see, this one, it really, it... This one gets me upset because it was really good up until the ending. Like the supernatural ghost skeleton creature, whatever you call it, was, you know, it was pretty decent. It was, it was scary. And, but I, I really didn't understand like why in, in the end, I'm just going to tell you the end because I doubt you're going to watch this movie. <laughs> they're, they're in the basement and the kid is on the other side of the basement and this creature is coming up to I guess kill the mother or whatever and then it backs off and it's going to kill the kid and she's like but I love him so much and then the creature goes away and it's, and it's the end of the movie <laughs> that's all happened love conquers all and then that was it the movie's over and they walk out of the house and that was it so for a movie that had a lot of promise and that was going the right way. The ending just made it go that way. And it fell from grace. And I never want to watch that movie again. <laughs> so for my rating for The Evil Next Door. Is an M because of the ending. So I watch it if you must. I'm just warning you the ending is going to piss you off. And I don't want to piss you off. <laughs> So now for the main event, movie number three, which I finally saw. 
You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah? Yeah. I saw the new Scream. And it's... I liked it. I love all the Scream movies. Um, Scream 4 is still the worst one for me. Um, and then it might be... Uh, maybe Scream 3 and then this one. This one's right in the middle of the pack. Um, my favorite character got the... In this one. So I know it's still out there in the theaters. Uh, I'm not going to say who it was in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, but one of the big three do do bite it in, in the new Scream. Uh, it's obviously a remake of the movie Stab, which you all know came about because of the Woodsboro murder. You know, the whole story. And um, so the whole thing is rebranded as a redo, but not a redo. You know, it's very strange, but there was tons of killing, tons of blood, you know, all that good stuff. And um, they did make, or uh, they are already talking about Scream 6, even though it's not called, you know, Scream 5, even though it really is. Um, so I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, Scream was, was good. I enjoyed it. It's good to see the whole gang back together again, you know, Dewey and Gail Weathers and Sydney, you know, and all them. Um, I, out of, for me, Scream is MDK just because I love the Scream franchise. It's, you know, it's Scream. We gotta love Scream. But I think Scream should come out during Halloween, not in January or February, whenever it came out. So they should learn the next time when the next Scream comes out, have it come out during Halloween. I think it'll be better. Um, but of course, you know, watch it because it's Scream, baby. Um, but of course, you know, like I said, please, please, please subscribe, hit the like button and let me know what you thought of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And if you saw the scream, the scream, the scream, if you saw a scream, definitely tell me about it, what you thought and the evil next door, which I know none of you have seen. And if you have seen it, let me know what you thought. You know, this is just my opinions, you know, just me, just Doogie. But until next time. Now, there will be a next time very, very soon. I will see you all in the horror den.